We've just seen Binance and Coinbase sued by the SEC. Uh, funnily enough, this has actually caused a fairly large rise to the upside, and it just truly goes to show trade the charts. If you're following the news, you're late to the move, and you're going to basically continuously lose money and get wrecked. So my job here today is prevent you from getting wrecked, letting you understand the technical analysis and be ahead of the game when it comes to the news. Why? Because show me the chart, we will tell you the news. Okay, so with that said, let's pick up where we left off the last video, right? Where we were trading around this section of the chart within our range. We had just seen a swing failure pattern of the low. I'm just going to remove everything a second. We had seen this SFP of the low, right? So range low, swing failure pattern. My favorite setup of all right now. What happened? Well, that's the range high. And we formed a swing failure pattern of the range high. What happened next? We got a large drop to the downside to form this low. And what happened down here? We formed a swing failure pattern of the low before this large rise to the upside. So you can see the swing failure pattern here, moving on to the swing failure pattern here, moving down to the swing failure pattern here. It has gave us each low high and low once more of this overall bigger move, right? So yeah, that, that just really goes to show you what you have to be paying attention to right now. And clearly it is the swing failure pattern, right? Swing failure pattern of the range high. Obviously we had seen day before this swing failure pattern of the range low up to range high. After that we saw, yep, a large drop to the downside. I told my team on Sunday, you know, don't try and buy 26,600 again. Wait for the lows to be taken. And of course, myself and Igor, absolutely on fire now, um, you know, also himself, the legend, looking from his daily morning update two days ago for a larger move to the downside. So he was looking for below $26,000 taking out these lows, right? In the end, we came to around 25300 which was another level that he had in mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we can see each step of the way. You know, when you're paying attention, you're trading these swing failure patterns, you're able to get really, really nice entries with pretty good, uh, you know, very good actually risk to reward ratios. Uh, so what happened? We obviously were brought down to the range low. From that range low that we had down here, Okay, so I'm referring now to this move down here. We've obviously formed a swing failure pattern of the low. We had this NPOC above us, which we actually managed to get through. And we can see here flipped into support. It's like then I'm telling my team, now we've flipped that into support. I'm going to really be looking for the single prints to be filled above us. So we had a bunch of single prints here. And basically simply, you know, trading the charts. We want to learn, look for the rise to continue to fill those single prints. And quite simply, perfectly, we got the continued rise filling those single prints. Just goes to show you a bit of information and knowledge about order flow, you know, single prints. This is all down on your TPO charts, right? C combining that with swing failure patterns, then combining that with your naked pointed controls. That gave us our next level above us yesterday, $27,266. Uh, $27, and then, yeah, we formed a great rejection from that NPOC just above us, right? So from the lows to the highs, you know, like this guy <laughs> Mup says here, um, Take profit could have been higher, but I wanted to wait for the reaction at the NPOC. Okay, so it's like make the plan, trade the plan, make some lovely profits. If you're trading along with Eagle, all is good, right? And you can see a lot of uh, champions getting similar entries here 25,300 entry, 25,500 entry, 25,700 entry. Uh, here we see an entry 25,500, 25,400. So all down and around after seeing this swing failure pattern of the low. Okay, so that's talked us through the last few major pivots here, where we are now. Now I'll start to explain where we are now and what we're looking for next. Okay, so 10 second recap, swing failure pattern range low, swing failure pattern range high, make our way down, swing failure pattern range low, come above the NPOC here, no rejection, no reaction, flip it into support, look to fill the single prints. We moved up to fill all the single prints, hitting into our NPOC, which was our next level above us. From there, we've got a little bit of a pullback, right? And so now we're trading here. And so we don't, well, <laughs> the, the the best trade right now is swing failure patterns, right? So we could be looking at a few levels here for our next potential SFP. Of course, the most obvious one right now would be this last high <laughs> before the drop. And what's nice about this potential swing failure pattern is we could swing failure pattern into the NPOC above us. Okay, so what I really love about these swing failure pattern type trades is let's say 
you know, this is based off of our statistics. You know, we're running on around a 78, you know, just over percent win rate. So let's say on average, we're taking 10 trades in a row swing failure patterns. You know, we're winning seven, eight of those trades, seven to eight of those trades and living, losing two to three. OK, out of 10. So what's wonderful about this trade setup is, first of all, it's got a very high win rate. Right. Second of all, on the trades that lose, the invalidation is always small. OK, so you're talking about small invalidations and large wins. OK, so if you see a swing failure pattern and you take the short and then it ends up reversing and stopping you out, well, that is going to be generally losing probably around 0.5 percent. Whereas some of these winners, for example, this swing failure pattern after this high, this is a win of 7 percent. OK, to the downside here, swing failure pattern of the low, you then see a rise of 7 percent to the upside. And if you got stopped on, you know, this trade, you're, you're, you're getting a loss after your entry of, you know, 0.7 percent so you can see and this is just over the past few days but look historically over the past few years of bitcoin this is why we're always talking about swing failure patterns really good trade setup relatively easy you mark that again with your order flow and it just becomes like uh, a, a very overpowered um trade setup right now so i just try to bring that to your attention and making you you know, I, I hate to be that guy that comes and says, oh, yeah, look how easy this is to make money, because then everyone's just going to think, oh, this is a scam. It can't be that easy. Um, I mean, just look for yourself. Just look uh, for yourself. Uh, what Not only myself, but champion members. You know, these are people that are learning. They're able to take the same short trades as the coaches. Right. These people are taking all the same long positions as the coaches, you know. It, all I can say is, yeah, like, like I wrote over on Twitter, you know, if you are studying the content and you really are putting in the work and understanding this, you know, you are able to make some very nice profits and be like Eagle calling every pivot at the moment. So then simply where we are now, the next easiest trade would be an SFP of the high. And again, swing forward pattern means reaction. So if we just go straight through the level with no reaction, then there's no short trade to be had. Right. And that's similar to what happened here. OK, so we kind of went straight through the level okay, and instantly start trading above it. So that's not a swing failure pattern. OK, swing failure pattern is where we see this through the level back down. OK, you can see here through the level back down. And the difference here is through the level, close above, close above, close above, below, reclaim, retest to the dollar, continuation to the upside. So we'd be looking for the reaction off of these highs. OK. So look up for the reaction off of these highs. See if we form a swing failure pattern here. If we don't, then we can continue to look for higher prices. OK, so if we don't get the swing failure pattern here, no reaction off our MPOC, then really simply what we do as trading the charts is look towards our next level, which we can see will be around twenty eight thousand dollars, twenty eight thousand one hundred. OK, below us, we don't have <clears throat> like a SFP uh, option as it stands right now. OK, this is. Um, if we are to head down, well, have a guess. We can look to fill some single prints on the way down. This NPOC doesn't really have too much confluence. Okay, we have a CC, but uh, the bigger level is this NPOC down here because it's on a daily. Uh, so that's that twenty five thousand seven hundred. And again, if we don't hold these levels, okay, we got net get no reaction. Then we would search down for our bigger levels below us right so that next level would be around twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars and then we'd have a weekly npoc and a weekly level like these are our outer boundary stronger levels okay so you know i always approach this game i don't want to be really bullish i don't want to be really bearish i just want to trade the charts you know it's like i said at the start of this video uh binance and uh coinbase getting you know a, a legal suit filed against the sec you know i don't even really follow the news it's just a lot of other people do and they they make a song and dance about it i i couldn't really care less if they're getting sued or not why because i would you know look for a long off of a swing failure pattern whether there's bullish or bearish news you know it makes no difference to me just as i took the short here off of the swing failure pattern uh, that doesn't make any difference whether it was binance getting sued or the uh, xyz bit of news i couldn't care less whether it's bullish or bearish at the end of the day i see the trade set up i'll take that trade set up right um <clears throat> and yeah chart champions the ogs of uh swing failure patterns right we've been trading this setup for a long 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 time now uh years and it's right now 
well, kind of, I want to say just as powerful as it ever has been. But I mean, right now we're just we're just given every pivot off of SFP. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know what Swing Vio Padded is by now, make sure you absolutely study that setup. OK, match it with the order flow. And then, yeah, you can start to run your own statistics. So just a little shout out, by the way, our newest contender session is how to record statistics by Igor. So if you want to learn how to record statistics, OK, if you want the actual file to, you know, mark out and record your own statistics, we've got the lesson explaining how to do that. And we're also, of course, giving you the file to record your own statistics correctly. So that's our latest contender session. We got the question and answers about that this evening. And then tomorrow you got three live streams in the same day. Myself, of course, with the daily morning trading update. Then we got a stock market trading morning update. Then we got a dedicated altcoin live stream too. So that's three live streams tomorrow covering crypto stocks and then dedicated to altcoins. We got the question and answers tonight about the statistics recording. Uh, so yeah, basically everything that you need right now, all in one place, you know, and we're keeping this, you know, very, I want to say, easy to follow along with right now. So yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> shout out to Igor, shout out to the rest of the champions. And of course, Rivalry and Severin, really good coaching right now too. That's me signing out. Hope you've enjoyed. Stay patient, stay calm, collected, and let's wait for a SFP. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you over in the Discord or the champions website, right? Cheers. Bye.